This is part three in a series of videos documenting how we build a soundproof drum room. In this episode, we're gonna be looking at how we do the electrics, how we bond the rubber roof on, and how we handle the second part of the insulation. So stay tuned. So what we're gonna do now is put some of this CT1 construction adhesive and sealant around the outside parts of the base plates on the inside and the outside. What we'll do is give it a bit of a brush down first and a hoover off, just to make sure it's nice and uh, dust free. And then we'll get that sealed up which will mean then we can put our damp proof membrane down ready for the inner part of the insulation. So that's all the base plates of the building sealed up now with the CT1 sealant. What we're actually going to do is put some more silicone on these joins here. So wherever we've got a panel joined together, like here, we're going to just run some basic silicone up those joints just to keep it nice and tight. <laughs> Okay, so we've sealed around the concrete base and we've sealed our uprights. I'm going to give it a good sweep out now and start doing some of the electrics. Okay, so that's the room all nice and tidy and the floor swept out. What we're going to do is have a look at where we're going to put electrics. Um, because at this stage we can get all the electrics clipped to this outer shell. Um, so along the bottom here, around 13 inches off the floor, we're going to have our ring main, which will include around seven sockets, um, which will run back to the consumer unit, which is over here, uh, which will be in this corner. And then there'll be a six mil, three core armored cable going to the house. We've also got on this side, um, we're going to have a feed for an aircon unit, which is going to be a professional aircon, a Mitsubishi system, which will have an in internal fan and also an, ex an external compressor fan to cool down the air. We've also got an outside light, which is going to go above the door. And then our bank of switches on here. Uh, door's going to open this way internally. So we're going to have our outer light switch we're going to have our internal light switch. There's going to be like a four-way spot in the middle. And then we're going to have a fan switch as well. So we have a fan system as well as the air con, which replaces the air into the room uh, with no loss of sound. Uh, so I think that's it for the electrics. Um, I think that's everything we're going to include. Uh, so we're just going to get on with that now and plan out where it's all going to go.
how much space do we lose off the internal part of the room now the outer shell's up. Well, okay, so here we've got our outer shell, which is around 10 centimeters deep. And then we've got 18 mil OSB, and then our roof and batten, and then there's gonna be the cladding on the outside. Internally, we're gonna have another room, so a room within a room. We're gonna have a 12 centimeter air gap, which is gonna be filled with insulation, which we're gonna put in later on today. And then there's gonna be an internal wall with more insulation in it, and then two layers of plasterboard. So the overall thickness of the wall is around 35 centimeters. So it's pretty substantial. <music> So that's all the electrics done. Let's have a look in a bit more detail on what that looks like. So starting off here with the ring main, we've got the two legs of the ring main which come to here. And then we've got around seven sockets around the perimeter of the room. We've gone up about 12 or 13 inches above the base. Well, we've actually left around 20 inches on this. So there's quite a bit of space for them to pull through the wall. So obviously we've got a double wall going on. Uh, we've also got our aircon feed, which is here. And this goes round with the ring main and goes out of the wall. And that'll go to a breaker on the outside for the aircon unit. We've also got a feed here to the lights and the fan, which are over here. So the door's gonna open inwards towards me. Then we've got our bank of switches here. So we've got a feed going to here. And then we've also got a light feed going to the middle of the room, which will be a four way surface mounted spot. And then we've also got a feed for a fan, which sort of goes down here and comes up the wall and through here, which we've got a four inch hole. And that'll go to an exterior fan, which will be in a, a waterproof box. We also have a four inch hole there which will have a cover on the outside and then a vent that will come into the room and that's just passive uh, so it doesn't have a mechanical fan on it. So yeah, I think that's about it for the electrics. Um, one other thing is the outside light, which we've got here. And I've just remembered we need to put another feed to the back of the building for the storage area as well. Um, this socket down here will go through the wall and that'll go to the storage area also. So that's part of the ring main in here. That's the electrics done. Time to get this lot installed.
electrics in and the second layer of insulation. We've also, there's a few, there's a few bits missing actually at the top. Uh, we've also got the insulation first layer in the roof. Uh, we've got damp proof membrane across the bottom. This is secured in with some screws and washers. You see it's starting to get a bit thicker. Inner shell will go here. So that's all taking shape. If you've liked the video so far and you're doing your own soundproofing project, but you just need a little bit more advice on how that might come together, then we offer a one hour consultation service. Click the link in the description below and we'll get back to you to arrange a time. Just about to bond the roof on. Uh, there's a little bit of water on the top, so uh, we just need to dry that off first so we can roll it back and get the adhesive on. So yeah, hopefully we'll get that on in the next uh, 10, 15 minutes or so. Okay, so we've dried the roof off. We're gonna to have to leave that now for 15, 20 minutes whilst we get on with something else. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we shall do that, shan't we, PJ? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so the roof's nice and dry now, so we're going to roll that back, uh, put the adhesive on, and then bond that on. Well, that's the roof bonded on. Uh, just need to staple those down on the corners and the edges and make sure it's nice and secure. Uh, but yeah, that's all done and all's nice and flat. Hope you liked the video so far. If you want to know more about what we do, please hit the link in the description. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe.